Every time I turn on my TV, I hear these liberal news reporters and Democrats complaining about Donald Trump not paying his taxes, not turning in his tax returns, not showing us all that information. Apparently, back in 1995, Donald Trump lost about $1 billion in his business. That's with a B. The tax laws allowed him to prorate that loss over a number of years so that his tax liability is reduced each year, probably to zero, for a number of years. Now, if you're critical of that, let me say this. I don't know one person that would sit down with his tax attorney on April 15th. Tax attorney says you owe $1,000 this year. And then you say, well, I, I, I support the military and our educational system and our infrastructure. So to be a good patriotic America, I think I'm just going to write a check for $10,000. That ain't going to happen. reason it's not going to happen, we're taught and we're trained that to be a good American, you pay every dollar of tax that you owe and not one penny more. That's exactly what Donald Trump did. So let me tell you specifically why I don't care about his tax returns. I don't care how much money he makes. I don't care how much money he loses. I don't care who he gives it to. I don't care about anything about his money. Let me describe it this way and illustrate it this way. Let's say, for example, that I had three small children and I wanted to hire a nanny to help me raise those three kids. And I get two applications. I'm going to take those applications and read them very carefully. I'm going to do a complete background check, a credit check, a criminal history check. I'm going to check their references. I'm going to talk to their friends. I'm going to find out about their character because it's important to me. They're going to be raising my kids. I want to pick the right person for the right job. That's what we should be doing for our president. Now, in a normal year, it would be an easy choice, really. A normal year means that there's nothing really wrong in the country. Everything's going along pretty good. We've got a decent budget. We've got uh, a, a manageable debt. We're not at war. Illegal immigration is but a trickle. And so all I need as a president is somebody that's really political and knows the political system and understands the nuances of American politics probably nobody better for that job than Hillary Clinton. She spent years as a governor's wife, years as a president's wife. She's been a senator. She's been a uh, secretary of state. She knows everything to do about politics and how to do it and what to say and when to say it and how to say it. Donald Trump doesn't know anything about the political system. He doesn't know anything about the mindset of a professional politician. That's why he's always shooting his mouth off, getting himself in trouble, saying politically incorrect things, and saying things he probably shouldn't say when he says them. So if it was a normal election year, she'd probably get the nod. But this is not normal. This is different. Let me give you an example. Let's say those same three kids are trapped in a house fire and I can't get them out and they're on the second floor. I call 911 and two guys shows up. One of them's in a pickup truck and he's got a bucket of water. That's it. No tools, no equipment, just him and a bucket of water. The other guy that shows up's in a big shiny new fire truck, got a ladder on it. He's dressed up in a fireman suit holding an ax got a helmet on and oxygen tanks and wet blankets hanging over his arm and a truck full of water. So I look at the guy in the fire truck and I say, I want to know what your plan is to get my kids out of this house. And he said, well, first thing I'm going to do is take this ladder. I'm going to extend it up to that bedroom window where they are. Then I'm going to take this ax and knock your front door down. I'm going to walk through your living room with high pressure water take these wet blankets up the stairs, wrap it around your kids, and bring them down that ladder one at a time. Can't guarantee it's going to work or it's going to be 100% successful, but I guarantee you I'm going to give it my all to get your kids out of that bedroom. 
So then I look at the second guy in the pickup truck, and I say, what's your plan? He says, I don't really have a plan, but I know I can do a better job than he can do because I don't know if you know, but he's been married four times. 1995, he had a business that went bad. I don't even think he pays any taxes. And I heard somebody say he even makes lewd conversations about women. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. You're going to stand off to the side over there, and this man's going to get my kids out of that house. That's what we need. We need somebody to get the kids out of the house. I'm not going to ask that guy to see his driver's license to see if he's qualified to drive the truck. I'm not going to ask him about his training. I'm not going to ask him if he's certified. I'm not going to ask him any of those questions. The house is burning, and my kids are in trouble, and I need the right man for the right job to get my kids out of that house. And that's where we are today, folks. Our national house is on fire, and we're trapped, and we don't need a politician to get us out. We need somebody that knows what they're doing that can get us out of the dilemma that we're in. We have in tens of thousands of illegal immigrants cross our borders constantly. Now they're demanding free health care and they're demanding free education. There are some states considering that at this moment. We have ISIS that's attacking us on our own soil as well as foreign soil and killing Americans. We have a $20 trillion debt. Now, before you just listen to that number, I want you to think about what that number means. If somebody were to be able to write a check every day for $1 million, at noon every day they write a check for $1 million to buy whatever they want to buy, it would take 55,000 years to spend $20 trillion. Think about that. And if you honestly believe that Hillary can do something about a $20 trillion debt that she helped create, if you really think that Hillary can stop illegal immigration by opening up the borders and inviting more people in, or if you really think that Hillary can stop ISIS and defeat ISIS when she couldn't even protect four Americans in Benghazi when she had full authority to do so and let them die. If you think she can do the job, then you have a duty as an American to vote for her and get her elected. But I want you to remember this. When she reaches in the back of that pickup truck and takes that bucket of water out to throw it on the fire and you find out it's gasoline, don't say I didn't warn you.